President Biden wrapped up his trip to Israel, having reaffirmed unwavering support for that conflict zone while working to let humanitarian aid move into Gaza through the border with Egypt. But protests grew in the Arab world over yesterday's deadly hospital explosion in Gaza. Our EUNI has analyzed the outcome of this high stakes trip. U.S. President Joe Biden concluded his visit to Israel on Wednesday, which had the goal of demonstrating support for Israel while reducing the chances of a broader conflict and also ensuring that he was fully attentive to the growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Following the cancellation of a previously scheduled summit in Jordan, President Biden departed the region without any in-person meetings with Arab leaders. Biden's visit uh, to Israel accomplished two things. The first one is uh, he, it did seem through his conversations uh, with the Egyptian president, uh, Sisi, to open up uh, a corridor for uh, humanitarian goods to flow uh, into Gaza, uh, which I think is a really important uh, uh, accomplishment, at least in the short term. Obviously, this is just a Band-Aid uh, on a much larger wound, um, but it's certainly better than what we had before. While flying back to Washington, Mr. Biden talked to Egyptian President el-Sisi, who agreed to reopen the border with Gaza and let 20 humanitarian aid trucks through. The U.S. leader said he wanted to make sure this could happen quickly, and he praised el-Sisi for being very cooperative. Another possible outcome is that Biden's discussions in the region and Washington's defense and state departments deter the conflict from broadening and encompassing potentially Hezbollah or Iran or other actors. In this regard, his visit seems to have helped ease tensions to some degree. Uh, the other thing I think that's an uh, important uh, outcome of this is that uh, the Biden administration uh, does seem to have decided, and probably this helps push it forward, uh, to ask Congress uh, for uh, several billion dollars in aid uh, that's uh, going to be combined uh, for an aid package for Israel and Ukraine uh, to go along with a $100 million uh, aid package, which has been announced uh, to go into Gaza and the West Bank. Amid the tensions in Arab nations after the hospital blast in Gaza, there are conflicting claims about who was behind it. Biden said data from his defense department showed that the explosion was not likely to have been caused by an airstrike by the Israeli military. But there are conflicting views as to whether Biden's visit has done anything to help an already inflamed region. The anger there is rumble on regardless with each side looking to place blame at the door of others. Ian He, Arirang News.